Hi, my name is Jill and you are here at Road Culture Rules and I want to talk about a great big idea in a brand new way and that is the decline of Western civilization. Is Western civilization as we know it dying from a broken heart? I'm going to tell you I think that's exactly what's happening but before we do that we're going to take a deep breath, hold for four, exhale and we are going to see you on the other side. So what makes me say that I think Western civilization is dying from a broken heart? And uh, I, I posted a video a couple back on uh, basics of heart health and an interview about a new way to look at the heart. Um, but one of the other things that is so interesting is they're finding out so much information about the way the heart works as our strongest electrical connection in our body. And for those of you who have looked into it, you know, there's a, a growing body of evidence that our universe is electric and if you really get into the electrical theory you'll understand how uh, information can be communicated in a way that we don't technically really understand that but that really starts to answer some of the great big questions and the reason I bring that up is that you know usually we talk about the heart in terms of love and love in terms of romance or you know I love my dog that kind of thing and and I've started to talk a little bit lately about what I think love really is and uh, and how uh, you know the love vibration the energy of the love actually creates a resonance uh, which is in conjunction with the electrical field that's being generated by your heart and so what's happening I think we can all agree is there's some massive changes that are happening to our world as we know it and uh, you just have to study Rome or any kind of empire to understand that we as uh, the Western civilization are in an empire decline state and uh, nobody really knows how that's going to turn out but because that's you know that's the big abstract thing you know what's underneath that which I you know I like to bring it back to how to, it affects you is that are there millions of us dying from a broken heart not just by the evidence of massive heart disease, maybe there's a correlation there, but what is really the energy that you, we just talked about, which is love, and what is it that you really want is you want a strong heart. And one of the big things that I have come to an aha about is that uh, we have love and we have strength, but we rarely put those things together. And uh, if we're really going to change what's happening, we need those both of those things. And you know, traditionally, love has been the feminine energy, and strength has been the masculine energy. And how do we bring those things together? Because strength without love becomes destructive and violent. Love without strength becomes weak and submissive. And you need both. And so part of you know what I was thinking is what would save Western civilization, or what would really change what's happening next and uh, I talked a little bit before about the three kind of battles that I see the first is the global uh, national battle which is really the question of who's going to be responsible the second battle I think is this technology versus humanity and the third is the truth and illusion and what got me excited this morning is I'm not really interested in the global dominance battle that's kind of resolving itself and I'm not really interested in the truth illusion battle because that's a real spiritual thing and uh, it's not as exciting. I am super interested in the uh, technology, AI, human battle because of the way that that whole love and strength thing is really coming together. And I had an experience uh, a couple nights ago in that uh, we, I, I showed you the baby cows, right? And so I heard a coyote like super close. It was right back here in the... Uh, the corral and it was just it was dust so it was super dark but there was a tiny little bit of light and so I grabbed I was in my slippers I grabbed my 
hiking stick and I ran out there because I'd seen the babies kind of clustered up in that same area and the coyotes like to grab them you know in the first couple of days they're too little and they can often get grabbed and pulled away uh, but you know as you might imagine I got my nice little flood of adrenaline I was running which oh my gosh I could run again and uh, I was I love the way that feels and to me that is the combination of love and strength right I have the excitement of uh, getting into the mix of all of it which is the strength but I'm doing it because of the love I want to protect the babies and that really to me is so symbolic of us and our lack of strength and love and how we are addressing all these issues that are facing Western civilization and is the real issue is that we have no love for our own life and we don't have the strength to meet that love to really address these things head on and what all this AI and technology is doing is it's allowing us to distract into fantasy and virtual reality and other people's stories entertainment or social media where we can passively feel like we're engaged in life but we don't really have our feet on the ground and so you know that's kind of my long way of saying that is the decline or the death of Western civilization really us dying from a broken heart because how many of us are so passionate about our life, our kids' life, our uh, planet's life, our community's life, that we're out in the battlefield. We're not the great big corporate world, but we're not in our town councils. You know, we're not in our churches. We're not in our schools. We're not uh, at our places of employment. Really taking these ideas to the street, so to speak, and saying, uh, what's happening and you know we've allowed our food to be poisoned we've allowed our air to be poisoned we've allowed our schools to be poisoned you know poisoning the minds of our children and all these things are taking place uh, you know the pedophilia all this stuff that's happening that's so insane and it's met with almost no uh, resistance a passivity an observation like oh that's happening to somebody over there and then of course complete shock and awe when it actually happens to you but the only way we are you okay the only way I think that any of this really changes and this is my personal uh, theory on this right now is that this is not a physical war it's not about uh, land it's not about laws it's not about how strong our body is but it is about how strong our mind it is about how strong our mind is and how brave our heart is and uh, I am just getting really clear on that and what gets me really excited is you know obviously that's an arena I can run into and it isn't about attack or fighting because real strength like real love is so strong it doesn't need to attack it doesn't need to defend it's just so powerful that there's nothing anybody can do about it and if we can find a way to ignite that within us my personal philosophy is that Western civilization is going to change so the world that we knew is going to go away but I still believe something awesome is going to build from beneath uh, like the Phoenix rising and I still think it's the young kids that are going to do it not us older geezery kind of people but that we are essential into making sure that happens to me that is what the over 50 crowd is here for we are essential to pull our heads out to get strong minds and brave hearts and to enter the arena and to get engaged uh, even in your daily life with all the little things I talk about you know putting your feet on the ground breathing deeply getting sunshine engaging in your life because that's what love of life actually is is you have to be active and engaged in it it's not something that you fight and push against that's not how this battle gets won it isn't fighting anything it's the choices you make and how engaged in those choices you decide you want to be and that can only be done one of us at a time one decision one choice one action one thought one idea one belief one emotion so it isn't something somebody out there can take care of it for us it's what we get to do with our lives and do we want a human world 
which we are actively engaged with a strong mind and a brave heart, or do we want a technology world that uh, just doesn't require us to do a whole lot but plug in? That's my question to you. So, uh, so before we go, we're going to take one more deep breath for the road as I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes, love in your heart, feet firmly on the ground as together we are walking on Survival Road one step at a time. I will hope that you live free and die wild, my friend, because I will see you next time. I'm reaching out to a future life.